Hi and welcome to the Cult TV Sofa. This is a reaction video for the 20th episode of Season 3 of Buffy the Vampire Slayer called The Prom. Last time we saw Buffy deciding to take the fight to the mayor rather than waiting for things to happen. <clears throat> the mayor received a delivery of something essential for the ascension and Buffy was there to see it going into the city hall. The team used blueprints of the city hall to plan out their theft of the box that the mayor wanted so badly. Willow cast a spell on the box to lower defences that were protecting it and then Buffy was lowered down to take it. Unfortunately, during the escape, Willow was captured by Faith. Willow escaped her incarceration and found the books of Ascension, which she stayed to read before being recaptured. They arranged an exchange of the box for Willow, but Snyder turned up and ruined things when one of his guards opened the box and let out some fairly lethal creatures. Buffy and Faith actually killed the creatures and the exchange was complete. Talking later, Willow gave Giles some of the pages from the book that seemed important that she'd taken while she was reading them. Willow also revealed that she had applied to UCSD so that she could remain in Sunnydale with Buffy after school had finished. During the exchange, the mayor had said some fairly hurtful but truthful things to Buffy and Angel about the longevity of their relationship and how unrealistic it was, which both of them seemed to realise was true. And Giles had tea which in a plastic thermos like that would taste absolutely awful, I know from experience. So let's see what happens in this episode. I'm going to put any relevant trivia that I find over here, and at the end of the reaction I'll be discussing what happened and my thoughts about it. And I'm going to start it in 3, 2, 1. Okay, that's a bit creepy. Should we wake up and see him just staring at you? Isn't there a funny bed there or something? Yeah, you do I actually. I got a little carried away with the whole post slayage nap thing. Well, not a good idea to get too carried away. You know, this place really isn't girl friendly. No mirrors, mm. no natural light. That's not really human friendly. <laughs> Maybe a drawer. You mm. know, for some of my stuff. I guess that's what couples do. You can't be a couple. There must be a few more hours before sunrise. Oh. oh! Sorry. Maybe peek around the side next time before you kill your boyfriend? It's a good alarm clock though, get you out of bed. It's such a bad idea them being together. They know what happens. He literally becomes a killing machine who wants to destroy the world. It's not a good thing. As relationships go, it's fairly destructive. They can't ever truly be happy together. Well, they can, but that's when the problems happen. They shouldn't. Still haven't got your powers back? You have it, right? No. <laughs> I will, though. It's just a matter of time. Okay, good to know. I have witnessed a millennium of treachery and oppression from the males of the species, and I have nothing but contempt for the whole libidinous lot of them. Then why are you talking to me? I don't have a date for the prom. <laughs> it couldn't possibly have anything to do with your sales pitch. Yeah, not the best. Well, at least we all have someone to go with now. And some of us are going with demons, but I think that's a valid lifestyle choice. Well, two demons and a werewolf. Yeah. I'm sorry to, uh, well, I, I would have called, but I don't have your number. <laughs> Good reason not to call. Why is she there? Your place is amazing. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> hey, you can't talk. Police car. Bonnet. I'm here because I'm worried about you two, in general. Rightly so. Sometimes even I forget that she's still just a girl. I'm old enough to be your ancestor. <laughs> I like the way you put that. 
But I think we both know that there are some hard choices ahead. If she can't make them, you're going to have to. That could backfire on her. Buffy finds out that she said that to Angel. That could really put her against her mother for interfering. So, it's safe to say we shouldn't waste any time on such trifling matters as a school dance. Well, that's too bad, because I bet you would look way 007 in a tux. <laughs> Except, of course, in the actual night, when I will be aiding Mr. Giles in his chaperoning duties. How would he be? It's not like he's a parent or a member of staff. We deserve a little promy fun. One night of glory, not too much to ask. Hmm. Last house. They do deserve... A, a night off, especially the prom, it's a big thing, I know, in America. <laughs> nice doggy. Well, they should not be lawfully joined together. Let him speak now. Dream sequence. <laughs> Nobody in the church. They couldn't get married. He hasn't got papers or documents to prove who he is. They wouldn't be allowed to. I'm, I'm just thinking in general, just it's another reason that you know, they can't be together forever. Well, they could be together forever, let's not get married, but... Is this hers or his dream? His. She's all happy and smiley. He's looking all... Oh, well, you can't go outside? Whoa, that was pretty graphic. Trying to think what that symbolises. I suppose if they get together and stay together, then Buffy's life's over. We have more important things to think about right now than a dance, Buffy. Sorry, Giles. <laughs> oh, that's not a good thing to call him. I'm just worried that you're getting too invested in this whole thing. What whole thing? The two of you. Going to a formal graduate and growing up. Yeah, it's the growing up part. That's the problem. He doesn't. I think we need to talk. But not now. Not here. He shouldn't have brought it up then. Uh, he can't just leave it like that now. You and me being together is unfair to you. Is this about what the mayor said? Don't say your mother said something. No, he wasn't. He's the bad guy. But he's right. You should be with someone. Someone who can make love to you. I don't care about that. You will. Yeah, you will. Before you know it, you'll want it all. A normal life. I'll never have a normal life. But you'll never have a chance of a normal life with him. He's unfortunately right. You know how much I love you. It kills me to say this. Then don't. He has to. I'm never going to change. I can't change. No, he can't change. You will change. How am I supposed to stay away from you? I'm leaving. After the ascension. If we survive. <laughs> if we survive, I'll go. <laughs> Is this really happening? Yeah, and it has to. It shouldn't have got that far along. In the first place. Now, I obviously know that the series Angel. I don't know anything really about it. I don't think. No, don't think I know anything about it. Um, obviously, other than Angels in it. Um, <clears throat> I assumed it was going to be in Sunnydale, but maybe not. There's I'm not asking this to know the answer. I don't want the answers in the comments. This, this is rhetorical now. I'm just thinking things through. So is he leaving Sunnydale? Which would make sense if he's no longer there. Um, that would make sense. Don't know where he goes. But uh, yeah, is he going to leave? Um, which would then completely separate the show and them. That would make sense. Well, I'll find out soon. Not too long till we start watching it. Like I said, all rhetorical. I don't want to know. 
had to happen. And Buffy's mum was right. I think he had to do it. He had to be brutal about it. Oh, he's a fool. No, he's not. He's the opposite. Max, you jerk for doing it right before the prom. But it's not his fault. There's no good time doing it. Well, he doesn't exactly get the prom. He might not get the prom, but he should know that, obviously, Buffy gets the prom. But yeah, there's no good time to do it. Maybe in the long run that he's right. At least she can see that. Yeah. I think he is. <laughs> After everything she just said. I tried to hope for the best, but... I'm sorry. I can't breathe well. I feel like I can't breathe. Which is ironic, because he can't. So what's this all about? I wonder, I thought that cage would hold that. It's not. <laughs> it, the chain looked fairly secure, but the chain was on a, a really weak cage. So she's working there. I'm considering things a little more carefully nowadays. I don't want to get stuck with another dud. <laughs> it positively screams nympho. Oh. So you better get back to work and quit goofing. Mrs. Finkel's so hesitant for you. <laughs> Everything has been taken away because Daddy made a little mistake on his taxes. For the last 12 years. Oh. I can't go to any of the colleges that accepted me. Oh. And she kept all that quiet. I'm a name tag person. Don't leave that out. Nothing wrong with being a name tag person. <laughs> he pushed her out the way and got in front of it. <laughs> quite a cool. Oh, quite a cool creature. Got me have like a werewolf vibe to it, but it's not uh, like a demon werewolf. If I'm not mistaken. This is a hellhound. Feed off the brains of their foes. Perhaps we could stay on the topic for once. What uh, were you doing with Xander? <laughs> Let's stay on topic. <laughs> I was burning a hole in Daddy's wallet as usual. I just bumped into her during my tuxedo hunt. Everything happened a bit quick then. Um, so, Cordelia's dad has been fiddling his taxes. They've lost all the money. She can't go to the universities that she uh, is eligible to go to. That's pretty horrible. Um, and she's working there to pay for the prom dress. And she's obviously not told anybody about what's happened or that she's working there. When it happened, that creature came through the window. Xander pushed her out the way immediately and l jumped in front. And he just covered for her then as well. That was very chivalrous of him. I will absolutely give him that on both sides. Does that show... Is that saying that he still has feelings for her? Uh, well, does he have still have feelings for her or was he just doing the right thing? Those two aren't necessarily um, at odds with each other. And obviously feelings... There's different levels of feelings. So... Um, he might have just been doing a nice thing. Not sure. Let's see. Hello, Hellhound Razor. Tucker Wells. How's it going over there, Buff? She's distracted. I bet she's not even reading the book. This Tucker is planning to attack the prom tonight. Once again, the Hellmouth puts the special on the special occasion. What, so he's trained it to attack people in tuxedos? You guys are going to have a prom. The kind of prom that everyone should have. If I have to kill every single person on the face of the earth to do it. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> her night's ruined, but she's going to make sure everyone else has a good time. Gives her a focus. Did you two check the magic shop? I can swing that one. See if anyone's been in buying supplies to raise a hellhound. It's not great that you'd sell magical ingredients to raise a hellhound. Yeah, yeah, this kid orders cow brains a couple of times a week. Mm. No. Most of this address. He's obviously never heard of data protection or GDPR. Angel getting his blood. It's hard to find a good blood supplier. Rex, remember? If 
it means anything, I miss you. Can we not? No, don't say that. That'll just make things worse. Gotta stop a crazy from pulling a carry at the prom. Hmm. <laughs> I love trivia on that. But I'm certainly not gonna let some subhuman ruin it for the rest of the yeah. class. Let me help you. I'm okay. If you ever you need can't. Help. I got it. That's just making things worse. You gotta back off now. Don't forget your dress. Aren't you wearing it tonight? I haven't finished paying for it yet. Well, somebody did. What? Did Xander pay for it? He's the only one who knows she's there. Now the prom starts in a little while. I want you guys to go on and I will catch up with you as soon as I put a lid on this jerk. <laughs> Buffy, it makes sense to... Have a nice time. <laughs> Okay, then. <laughs> I didn't take too much persuading. I want you at the gym. Keep an eye on them till I get there. Yeah, it's a level of defense. Angel's not taking you, is he? Angel's leaving me. Just leaving town. Um, I, I understand that um, this sort of thing requires ice cream of some kind. <laughs> ice cream will come. But not tonight. Great thing about being a slayer? Kicking ass is comfort food. <laughs> Good stress reliever. Get to take out your anger and frustration. Praise him. Right the tip of my tongue, but I can't remember who it's by. Well, I must say this is all rather odd to me. Praise you. Unless you count the nights you made the lower classmen get up as girls and watch them. Yeah. Not everyone did that. Fat boy slim. School girl. Looks like a nice prom. Oh, it's looking very snazzy. You're not even a little nervous. We think Buffy's gonna let us down. No, not tonight. She wouldn't. That dress looks very nice on her. Smashing. Smashed. <laughs> Yes, thank you. It yeah, looks good on you. You did. Well, duh. <laughs> that was nice. Ah, Jonathan got a date. Giles obviously knows what happened, so he, that's why he was smiling. After what Jonathan was going to do, things aren't always as bad as you think. What kind of sicko wants to destroy the happiest night of a senior's life? I have my reasons. You want to go to the prom with me? No. Whatever. Well, that's it. He just got rejected once, and that was it. That's brilliant. That's so funny. Gotta have a redundancy system. Oh, more than three fiercest babies one. are on their way to the dance right now. Three. Oh. oh, that was quite cool in a bad way, but was, the way it reacted was good. Right. Buffy. Yeah, good keeps them away from the prom. <laughs> well, they're obviously disco dogs. They're moving very much like the um that the werewolf character does, but Oh <laughs> just caught it in midair. What's she gonna say to him? Bathroom? Ah. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> Is that all of them? Yeah, I like the. Ah, oh, she's got to get rid of the bodies as well. Yeah, I like the way it sort of jumped up and she caught it and pulled it back by its leg. They look quite cool, but a bit too much like werewolves. It's with their hounds. Similarities. So, does she go into the prom as well? And that's a nice dress as well. And the award for Sunnydale High's Class Clown for 1999 goes to Jack Mayhew. Well, Zad, I think he was going to win it. <laughs> oh, yeah, you need to beat it down a bit. <laughs> Is 
Buffy Summers here tonight? This is actually a new category. We're not good friends. Most of us never found the time to get to know you. Not great start. We don't talk about it much, but it's no secret that Sunnydale High isn't really like other high schools. <laughs> a lot of weird stuff happens here. Zombie! Hyena people! Snyder! <laughs> <laughs> Whenever there was a problem or something creepy happened, you seemed to show up and stop it. <laughs> <laughs> We're proud to say that the class of 99 has the lowest mortality rate of any graduating class. <laughs> <laughs> and we know at least part of that is because of you. I think a substantial part of it. It's from all of us. And it has written here. Buffy Summers, class protector. <laughs> that's really good that they actually they've acknowledged it. Everything that's happened. Well, you look quite choked up. <laughs> yeah, no one's ever said anything, but they've all noticed. Giles' smile. Then that was a really nice moment. I wonder if asking Miss Chase to dance. <coughs> For God's sake, man, she's eighteen. And you have the emotional maturity of a blueberry scone. <laughs> Just have at it, would you? <laughs> Fair enough. Thanks for that. <laughs> I mean, true, she is 18. Let's just make her an adult. But she could just wait another couple of weeks until she's finished school. isn't bad. So I'm guessing he did do that stuff for Cadelia just because he was being nice. Every now and then people surprise you. Every now and then. Oh, that's good and bad. It's not... That's really messing with her emotions though. Well, and his emotions. It's just tonight. It doesn't mean that I... I know. I mean, they understand. Uh, I hope that's the case. I, mean, I get the kind of ending on like a high. I hope that they always have good memories of tonight, but this makes it harder to finish. <laughs> Could be a bit awkward with Jonathan's height. He's kind of <laughs> with a tall date. Not great eye level. Well, it might be for him, but. Awkward for the girl. Um, g good episode. Them, I'm, I'm assuming they are split up. Um, <laughs> the ending, I hope that's, it is just that, that night to create a nice memory. But they had to split up. They can't be together. I've been saying that since the beginning of the season, pretty much. We know what happens if he has a perfect moment. And if you're in love with someone, in theory, there should be lots of perfect moments. Um, so, yeah, it had to happen. I like the way she got all um, fired up about, look, my night's ruined. Uh, you lot are having a good time. Um, and she did everything she could to make sure that happened. That was good. I liked that. Um, and then the award that she got. That was really good. I've said a few times recently. I've said it in the past, but in particular recently, there's been some things that happened where lots of people have been seeing things. Um, Willow floating the pencil. Buffy running up that uh, wall at school to, to tackle Jonathan. Everyone saw that. It's been much more noticeable that she's been more in the open. Uh, well, people have been more open about abilities and things. Um, and I think that's a nice way to um, address that. Everyone has noticed, but no one says anything. But it's the prom, it's the end of the school year. They're all finishing and going their separate ways to university and things. That they're um, addressing it now. Um, that that was a really good way of doing it. 
And I say I did actually get quite choked up about that. I have to admit, um, just the look on everyone's face, Giles' smile, um, you know how proud he was. Um, Willow and Xander, the way they looked. Um, but they were kind of thinking, yeah, but we helped as well. We don't get anything. <laughs> I'm sure they weren't. But yeah, no, that was really nice. So yeah, I'm assuming that they are breaking up, especially because. Again, spoiler that I know that obviously with with Angel, I, I'm assuming he leaves, um, so it would make sense for them to separate. Yeah, no, really enjoyed it. It was a, a nice episode as well. Not very often you can say that uh, an episode with Hellhounds in is a nice episode, but it was. Um, oh, and I will absolutely give him uh, credit where credit is due. Um, Xander was really uh, ni nice. Can't think of a better way of putting it in this episode. Um, yeah, he he saved Cordelia. Well, pushed her out of the way, protected her, covered for her, so as not to embarrass her in front of the others. He kept her secret, and he paid for the dress, paid off the rest of the dress. Those were all really nice things that he did. He can be nice when he wants to. He can be good and he he can do the right thing when he wants to. It's just a lot of the times he doesn't. He needs a bit more of that sometimes. This shows that he's absolutely capable of it. Yeah, really, really good episode. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. And I shall see you for the next one. Be seeing you.